What's up? Doing a little review on some uh, boots I just got today. I uh, got some AXO boots. These are motorcycle boots, racing boots. I already got them out the box because I already did a test run with them. Here they go. Let's look over them real quick. Uh, we got uh, toe sliders here that are removable and replaceable. Uh, we also have a little bit of protection right here for shifting. You can see the little grooves right there to help grip the shifter as you upshift with these. Uh, we also have a little composite material right there. Kind of feels like uh, a little bit coarse type material right there. I guess it gives you a little protection, not real sure. Uh, we also have some ankle protection right here, man. And some ventilation right there. And that's a little screen right there. Uh, we also have some heel protection right here, man. We also have some protection back here for the back part of your calf. Alright. We have some shin protection. Yes, we do. And now let's look at the other side of the boot. There you go. That's how you put them on. As you can tell, this is Primato on the side of it. Alright, that's some suede right there, man. It's held on with Velcro and uh, zipper. Uh, the bottom of the boot has that anti-skid material right there. Good for gripping, which I did find it did help. Alright. Alright, let's uh, check out how we put them on, man. Hold on a second. Alright. Grab us a boot. It's held on with uh, Velcro and a zipper. And we have a little bit of elastic material right there for flexibility. Alright, let's put them on, man. They're quite easy to put on. Uh, we undo the Velcro. Right here, there's the tab for the zipper, which also has Velcro on it so your zipper doesn't flap in the wind. Alright, undo the Velcro. Zip them down. Uh, Alright, let's look inside first. Uh, see the material right there? Can you really see it? Can you see it? That's quite it's some breathable material, man. Uh, it feels quite comfortable, uh, in my opinion. My first initial ride with it felt quite comfortable, man. Alright, let's slip into them. Pull my pants up. Alright. Zip up. Strap them down right there with the Velcro. Strap it down. Strap it down. Alright. Uh, it's a comfortable boot, man. Uh, when I took them out of the box, tried them on and walked around with them. It felt quite good, man. You know, it's uh, kind of similar to any new boot. Uh, it's a little bit stiff, you know, you got to break them in, so be prepared for that. I think all uh, racing or boots like this will be a little stiff initially, but this boot was quite comfortable when I um, initially put it on, man. Uh, as you can tell, got a little room right here for movement, which is, which is kind of good. Some people might not like it, but it is kind of good when you're moving around on the pegs. And it also gives you some room for race leathers that you can tuck down inside there. Uh, you can also tuck your pants in there if you like. Yeah, to each his own. Uh, but for those who want to wear their pants over the boot, here we go. Alright. There's the pants over the boot. Uh, it's a nice looking boot. Uh, hard to tell that these are race boots or motorcycle boots. With your pants pulled down over the top of them, it's kind of kind of looks like some sneakers. Uh, other than the toe slider right there, uh, people would think these are some sneakers or some nice looking cowboy boots, man, with white leather. Uh, it's a nice looking boot, right there. Here we go, AXO boots, man. Um, my initial 
ride with these boots. Uh, it was a little strange because the bottom is a little stiffer than your normal uh, sneaker or regular pair of boots. Uh, you got to get a little used to it. Uh, the flexibility is a little different. As you can tell, I missed the uh, shift lever a little bit on my little contact patch, but that was because I wasn't used to it. <clears throat> uh, it's a nice boot. Uh, for those who are diehard track junkies, uh, you might want to go with something a little more advanced than this. In my opinion, this is a street uh, occasional track boot right here. Uh, it's very easy to get into, as you can tell uh, previously. Very easy to get out of. Uh, quite easy. Zipper. Quite easy to get in and out of, man. Uh, so I think, with that being said, this is a decent street boot, man. And for the price, uh, it's better than wearing sneakers. Which is why I got it. You know, this is offers a little bit better protection than sneakers. Well, let's be honest, man. Offers a lot better protection than sneakers, man. Um, nice looking boot. Uh, can't really comment on the quality of uh, long term use because, like I said, I just got them. Uh, the stitching seems to be spot on, though. Stitching looks real good on it. Real good. You don't see any. Uh, missed stitches or ravels or anything like that on this boot, man. So, uh, quality seems quite nice on it, man. And it's a nice looking boot. Again, quick review. The AXO Primato race boot. AXO Primato race boot right here. Leather, suede, uh, red piping, red stitching, whatever you want to call it. Nice quality boot, man. Nice quality street boot, man, you know. Um, so you guys check it out, man. It's a nice boot. Um, no big issues from riding with it. No big issues from riding with it at all. Um, that's it, man. This is the EXO Primato boot. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid, man. I didn't see a vid about it before, so I put one up, man. It's a nice boot. You guys check them out. Good quality. Good quality looking boot, man. And reasonable price. Alright, thanks.